Hi beautiful people, I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for May 8th through to the 14th. I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine, so let's see what their guidance is first of all for Monday and Tuesday. Ooh, interesting. We haven't had this card in a long time. It's the eight of water, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities and leaving home. So I don't know about you, but that full moon lunar eclipse, along with Mercury retrograde that we are still in, is causing us to reflect very deeply right now and to look at the parts of our lives that are just not working for us. So if you have been thinking about leaving a situation or even a home, then this is confirmation for you. But ultimately, this is about asking yourself those big, deeper questions about what it is that you truly want in your, in your life and how you can experience more of that. So don't be afraid of going deeper as you begin the week. Ah, so here we go. The two of earth says working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities and balancing the budget. So for some of you, those changes could be I just need to have more fun I'm doing too much it could be though that as you're making those changes you feel like you're juggling a lot of different balls and this is a reminder to drop them you can't do everything at once so look at where your energy is most needed right now and take care of yourself because as the angel said this is all about priorities and that word has come up twice in both cards so so really, really important to see where you can shift your focus right now. Ah, and then lovely, lovely energy as we head into the weekend. The one of water, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter and a new home. Now, very, very interestingly, leaving home came up at the beginning of the week and then it said new home. So again, if part of the changes that you want to make is to leave somewhere and begin again, then this is a great sign for you. It doesn't mean that you suddenly have to move this week or make major changes, but it is about being honest with yourself so that you can experience a new beginning. And again, that new beginning isn't going to necessarily happen very quickly, but I do feel the energy really lightening up for us as we go into the weekend. The uh, Mercury starts to go direct actually on the 4th so this does say to me that we'll really start to feel the shift between those bigger decisions that we're making and feeling a sense of lightness and relief around it. And I also feel that lots of us at the weekend, it's a reminder to get out and be sociable, to connect with new people if we can. All right. So Let's see what the message from my book is, Messages of Grace, 111 Notes of Love and Guidance from Your Angels. You can buy the book right now on Amazon. And the message is, let's see, ah, number 16, Divine Timing. Patience, dear one, patience. There is a divine timing to every experience. Often many pieces of the puzzle need to fit together before your desires can manifest. Sometimes they may not occur as you'd hope. But as long as you ask us, we promise we're working with you behind the scenes and we'll always have your best interests at heart. You'll see. We love you, your angels. So how about that beautiful, beautiful message that supports us in making those changes, but also having faith that everything is unfolding for us. 
If you'd like support with your personal changes, maybe you are thinking about making changes with your living situation, your relationships, maybe you're already experiencing that new energy and you'd like some guidance about it, then you can contact me at annagracetaylor.com where you'll find details of my private sessions where we can connect with your angels more personally, where we can ask questions and you can receive guidance and insight insight from them. We'd love to speak to you if you feel guided. Just contact me on my website and we can schedule your session. See you on my Facebook and Instagram for the daily angel messages. Much love to you. Have a beautiful week.